There are at least, at least three. There may be more, which I just don't happen to know. There are at least three basic reasons. One, uh, unattainable. I'll write down and then we'll talk more, all right? The second reason is that precision is not necessary. And the third one is that estimates are a tool to achieve or help achieve precision. And under this heading is what you said about, well, you want, oh, what, go to, super, oh, no, somebody else. Anyway, somebody said, go to supermarket. Yeah, OK, it's And then you want to see whether or not some, <laughs> your cashier made a mistake, or whether I have brought enough money that I don't want them to be embarrassed at the counter and I'm $10 short, that kind of thing, right? So you know what the ultimate goal is, and you want to say, am I getting there? That's in that general heading. And what the book tried, yep, what I showed you. They say, you want to multiply two numbers. And you get an answer. Is that the correct answer? They said, well, that's, well, in that inimitable fashion, it says, round to nearest thousand, doesn't say why, it just says, oh, that's near the, it seems close to the, Estimate, es uh, close to the estimate, so it must be right. Okay, never mind the execution, but the intention is good. That they want you to use estimation to help get at the precision. Right? So that's that. Now this under this heading is what? Well, it would been set on inset measurements. All scientific measurements are imprecise. Have to be, because. Scientific measurements are done by instruments. Instruments are man-made, therefore, that's built in imprecision. You take out your ruler, it's accurate up to an inch, I hope, but I don't, I'm not sure about that. But beyond that, you, want to, you make a measurement of this, you say, okay, that's a make this. Yeah, roughly, I say, if I say this, I say this is, yeah, so this, look at this. I say, I, I say 94 point. I say this, 4.86 feet. <laughs> but you know that I'm just bluffing you, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not possible. Even that is a little suspect. It's commercial. That, 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 the template for producing that plastic ruler probably was made 25 years ago, but now it's all blunted and it's probably not precise. And mm -hmm. you know, if I were you, I wouldn't trust it too much, yeah. right? Mm. And of course, that, that's not to make fun of instruments, but of course all experimentalists, exper experiment, experimental scientists, would like to have absolute precision, but no matter how much they, what they wish for, they were not going to get it because down to what? Point zero, point zero, zero. 15 zeros of, of a meter, is that good enough for you? Well, even if that's good enough for you, you cannot get 20, 20 decimal places after the decimal point. There's a clearly inherent human in, uh, imprecision. Right? So something is just not possible. Now, let's look at, you should have a general idea of what is not possible. Not that, you know, that's obvious. The most notorious imprecise measurements, uh, you should list a few, astronomical measurements. By the way, you know, this, I, I, it, this is actually very interesting. You, talk, you know, in the, in, in the popular press, you uh, hear about, oh, we observed this distant galaxy, uh, 
5 billion light years away. You hear that often, right? Mm -hmm. you, really, you really believe that? The imprecision there is, is, is enormous. Any astronomical measurement outside the solar system, or in fact, even inside the solar system, you have trouble because they cannot quite map Pluto that precisely. Pluto is way out. But the sun is OK. Uh, you, I think you can shine a laser beam to the nearby planet. It would come back in six, seven minutes. Yeah. So that's still wait waitable. Six, seven minutes waitable, right? The nearest galaxy, or uh, nearest star, you know how, much, how, far, how far away the nearest star is? I actually, I don't know the name. You know better than I do. But I know that it, that, 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 that they are the order of magnitude. It's, well, what I got is 4.3, maybe. Oh. Yeah, so say, okay. yeah. Which means you try to do it by laser. You try to laser and wait till they come back. Who is going to wait 8.6 years? <laughs> right? It's not possible. It's not worth it, probably. You, know, you don't know what's coming back. And I don't think that laser that sharp, that can travel that distance and not get dispersed. So all these problems. So all astronomical measurements are largely guesswork. It's not possible. So theref therefore, when you, when you have a, an astronomical figure, you're going to round off like crazy because you want to retain some measure of credibility, right? You don't want to mislead people. By the way, when you read a, yeah, OK, I should alert you to this fact. If you get a scientific figure, and a scientific figure says, let's say like this, right? Like that. If someone says you, tells you something, whatever, I can't figure out what it is, but it's 4.86 feet. There's an implicit convention here. That means this is absolutely trustworthy. But this has been rounded. That's the convention. You only list what's absolutely certain, and then you put one more out there to show you roughly, well, that's where it is. Therefore, well, your instrument in the doing the measurement might be overachieving. Maybe that's what you got. But if you want to preserve your scientific reputation, you're going to throw a lot of things away. That's rounding, isn't it? That's what you mean by rounding. You're going to throw things away. You're going to throw that away. You know the, you know the, you know the limitations of your instrument. These are spurious readings. And this is the only trustworthy. And this has that built-in uncertainty whether or not is it Six or seven, you know. Right. So half the round. And uh, uh, I think, I don't know, Marlene or Sandy mentioned another kind of unattain unattainability of precision population figures. Oh, yeah, let me give you. Since you live here, oh, at least we're, we're talking in Berkeley, right? This is the 2010 consensus figure of the Berkeley population. Now, look, I guess by now there must be a convention out there among geographers that. We have, we're forced to, by law, give you this figure. Yeah. But I'm sure there's a convention, or demographers, rather, that when you see this, you're going to cut off, I would guess, at least up to 1,000. Mm. There's no way you can tell what the population is. Mm -hmm. At any given moment, people die, people are born. And homeless people come in and out. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yeah. it's open. And people might not have bothered to respond to your mm -hmm. sentence. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So in a real sense, I'm sure. I mean, but this, uh, there might be a law that says that you should report exactly as you call to what data you got. Maybe. But if I were you, I would say what? What would I say? In fact, I would just say, oh, about 100,000. Right? Exactly. But if you want to be a little bit more conscientious about it, you say, oh, it's about 11. Uh, 110,000. 110,000. You want to show off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's about as far as you can go. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So there's a good reason for running. But the, that's how I show you the first page of this book. Just go and round it. Now, I, I, I'm going to repeat myself. Before you do anything, say precisely what it is, what it is that you're doing, and then explain why you want to do it. Otherwise, learning is really hard. You're supposed to make students learn something even if they don't know why they should learn it. It's just not possible. Or if they have been conditioned to learn like that, you know you're producing a whole generation of uh, automatons. Right? No good. So books really pay some attention to what they write. You make people around to at least spend time saying, why are you on the round? Now, the other thing. The last thing I have is position not necessary. And it's all also, also already brought up. I said, oh, I go home at about a mile and a half. That's all it takes, that's it? You want to know more precisely? What for? Right? Today's temperature, right now, OK? It's getting hot, isn't it? Is this hot? No. Mildly hot. Where you from? Oh, no, 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 you're cold. The half wind bay is cold. Right, I'm waiting for it to get warm. I'm so don't you think this is hot? No. <laughs> well, you don't know that I'm from the valley where it's, Central Valley where it's 104 and that's supposed to get cold. <laughs> so I'm always cold. But I count you as a half wind bay person. Half Moon Bay people think this is pretty hot, I think. If they're born in yeah. Yeah, right, right, I see. You're a, yes, my children would think you're a fake Half Moon, Half Bay Moon. Baby. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> no wonder you gave me a. Uh, yeah. But you see, but, but okay, let's talk like this, right? All you can, you want to know exactly is seven, uh, 75.28 degrees right now? Who cares? Not necessary. You say it's kind of mildly hot or. Balmy. Is, that bal is this balmy? Or oh, whatever. Whatever is appropriate. What's, a, what's the appropriate word for this? Nice. Nice. OK. See? That's all you care. That's all you care, right? It's not necessary. Completely unnecessary. Uh, yeah, this is my favorite topic of discussion. National debt. <laughs> <laughs> The national debt machine gives you, you know what the national debt machine does, right? What figure does it give you? Yeah. Up to a penny. Yeah. <laughs> you care? No. You don't even care about all the figures except what? Yeah. How many digits? Yeah. That's yeah. why it matters. Yeah. It's about, it, at the moment, last night, mm -hmm. uh, it's 14 trillion. It's 14 times 10 to the 12th. You can any, for any more precision than that? No. Right? Not even Geithner <laughs> care to have that. It's an evolving figure. Uh, oh, I should give you something alarming. Yeah. Now it's 14, right? 14 trillion. Uh, I may be off by a little bit, but not that much. I think 2004, it was 5 trillion. According to your book. <laughs> okay, 
Yeah, that's what I'm trying to quote, but I made that wrong. It was five trillion in '96 and eight trillion in 2007. Oh, okay. I'm all my ten years. Five trillion 20, uh, about 15 years ago. Yeah. Think about that. Something Who's that from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's you know, this is. Uh, <laughs> they're, still, they're still fighting over it, aren't they? Right? So, so there, I mean, these are things that little kids can understand perfectly. If they don't understand that, at least ask them, uh, how, far, how, how far do you walk to school? Now, even the kid understand that, he's not going to answer in inches, right? Mm -hmm. Not even in feet, but 10 feet more or less. If, if that, probably 100 feet, up to 100 feet. And they understand, yeah, that's... There are certain things I want to round, round off, up or down. Now, explain like that, then there's some purpose to learning this. And they would be, you know, at the moment, the uh, perception I got from uh, uh, students is that it is a skill they must have in order to CST. Right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, that's how low things are getting. I mean, this is absolutely unacceptable. It's a very basic skill. You can see it's very important. And yet, it's reduced to something that's completely contemptible. I mean, it's, why does it happen? So, I want, so this is why, why, actually, I don't get to teach this too often. I wrote it, but I hardly ever get to it. But this time I decided that we should seriously, seriously talk about this because it's a very basic topic and we can't afford to let it continue to slide to uh, this, this, this a low level of uh, working of score. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we know that, as I said, always, always say, why do you want to learn it? So I hope I've given you enough reason why you should learn it. Oh, by the way, there's another favorite topic of mine. You know what the age of, of the universe is? The age of the universe. Sorry? 14 billion years. That's right. It's roughly. Now, you see, that's another one. I, I don't care about the 20.5 or the 2. In fact, I'm not even sure about the 14 part. It's, you know, it, it, it's a, that's a, come on, that's a standing joke about cosmology. It, it depends on uh, the, the Hubble constant, and after a while, people <laughs> refer, to the, refer to that as the Hubble variable. Because the <laughs> made it go up and down. But now I think they claim they are pinned down to reasonable level of precision. So maybe 14 would stay. Yeah. So anyway, but that's another example. How old it is? Well, give or take a few million years, do you care? Right? So all the very good reasons why you want to round off. But you have to tell the kids. You can't just say, round, 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 nearest 10, nearest 1,000, nearest 10,000. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Now, OK, having said that, um, maybe we'll take a seven minute break, how's that? <laughs> anyway, roughly speaking, come back <laughs> at five after. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Round it off to 10. <laughs>